Vlog time, people. Back on the bank. Back on the Pride of Derby. But this time, I'm on Grimmies. It's looking beautiful out there. And the reason I've come on Grimmies is because I went on to Red Ass. And it's the water's full of algae again. I'm not fishing it while it's like that. It's hard enough as it is. All the algae's going to do is just put the fish off even more. So it's Sunday. I should imagine it's about half five or something like that. And I'm in the middle of the lake. I've got a bay over there. I think I'm in about peg eight or peg nine. But the fish have been boshing out since I got here. In this bay. Over here, I've seen him across the middle, where I believe there's a bar, it runs from one end of the lake to the other, and I've even seen him fizzing up close in. But the most fish I've seen is all over here in this bay into the corner of these reeds. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a chod out over there and get that in the water. I think I'll pick a fish up from there and then I'm going to figure out what to do I don't know whether to, I'm going to try and find an area a bit further along the reeds and keep two rods on that I think and then keep a chod in that bay I'm just going to put a single out there I think a bright single like a white or a yellow or a pink well washed out pink white or yellow should I say not like in your face bright but let's see if I can pick one up before why well, I'm sorting all the other rods out and that. Um but yeah I'm here anyway. So yeah there's another one just come out over there. There's loads of them over there. They're all over the place over there. So I don't think I'm gonna spot into that bay. I think I'm just gonna put like I say my chod in there. On a single, I don't see. I don't think I'll need any bait. I think uh, I'll pick one up and then I'm going to fish over here, find an area either in the middle or in front of them reeds. You know, I've got a couple of days here, so we'll just see what happens. I've never fished it before, so right, I better get finish getting all this lot sorted out. Getting set up, people, so I shall catch you in a bit. Adios, amigos. Alright, blog time, people. There's the first one. Nice comment. It's probably about 12 13 pounds on my baited area. So, yeah, well chuffed. Only had the rods in the water three quarters of an hour. So buzzing. Ah, oh, get this fish back. Vlog time, people. There's uh, only me on Grimmies. There's nobody else on here at all. Um, the fish. Oh no, tell a lie. There's a bloke down in the corner. But like I say, I've had one carp about 13 pound, and I've had a tench this morning. I've had nothing the rest of the morning. So what I'm going to do is tie a couple of rigs up and I get these freshened up two fresh rigs on I'm going to put about another six bombs out there to freshen it up and then I'm going to change my pop up on my chod rig and get that back out into that bay over there so that's the state of affairs I mean the fish were boshing like mad last night um, but this morning they're not boshing at all so see what happens if few people start to turn up now. I think I've just seen a fish out there actually as I've turned around. The sun's coming out now 
because it's been raining all night but it's supposed to rain again later whether it will or not I don't know because they've been getting the forecast completely wrong so right I shall catch you later people adios There's my mix, just got some top flight pigeon conditioner that's got everything in it and aniseed, got some chopped boiler, some old boiler, tin of sweet corn and that's it, just a basic mix and that's what's working. So there you go, can you see that, loads of little bits and pieces for them to pick up, so there you go people. Adios. Right, blog time, people. I'll give you a bit of an update. It's Monday night now. It's about it's about six o'clock. No, quarter to six. Now today, the weather's been a bit cloudy. Eh? We had rain this morning. So the weather's a bit here, there and everywhere again. It's blowing a southwesterly at the minute. Now I've seen the odd fish over there today. I've seen fish hovering over the top of my bait, but I haven't had nothing. Not even so much as a liner. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to leave the rods where they are. I know they went out perfectly okay. I know my spot went out okay. 
So I can't see the point in disturbing it again. I think what's happened is I think the wind's pushed the fish. The big majority of the fish that was there yesterday further down the lake. Down this way, because I'm only seeing the odd signs of the odd ends now, whereas yesterday I must have saw 60, 70 shows Why it was raining. Now over there in the bay where I've got one, I've had fish right over the top of my rig, but nothing so far. So I'm just hoping that they'll get their heads down. Um, so yeah. Uh, I can only fish 48 hours on here, I forgot about that. So I got here Sunday about half four, I think it was, something at five o'clock. So that means I have to be off tomorrow by five. So what I think I'm going to do is get up, see bike time through, and then uh, get packed up in the morning. So everything's packed down, bar my rods and my bivvy. And then I'm going to go and jump onto one of the other lakes for the night just for the night if red ass is still really algified I might even jump on like Ully Gully or somewhere like that we'll see anyway right I'm going to sign off for now so I'll catch you in a bit people adios amigos vlog time people it's now Tuesday morning, I've had nothing, no line, there's no nothing, it's gone completely dead in front of me. So I'm just having some breakfast and then I'm going to move and I'll have a night on red ice. So I'm going to get all my stuff together and then drop in on there and just have a night on there. So I'm going to sign off for now because I'm going to get some breakfast, which my bacon's burning now. And I'll catch you in a bit, people. Adios. Vlog time, people. I'm on, back on red ass now. Packed all my stuff up, moved on to red ass. Um, I'm at the top end. And I've seen fish out here. Quite a few fish. Now, I haven't put any rigs out yet. I was going to put bags out, but. I've, I've run out of bloody uh, my lead core. I've only got enough lead core to do like one. I might do some out of fluorocarbon. Um, I was going to put three bags out, but I might just put three sing three singles out. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do yet. I'm not sure what to do. I'm just going to sit and watch for a bit. Um, I didn't really want to spot out, or if I'm going to spot out, not spot out till tonight before dark. So it might be a case of I put three rigs out there on an area and then put some bait out after dark. But it's either that or I'm going to fish bags. But I'm here anyway. So um, we'll just see how it goes. So I'm going to have this cup of coffee. Get some rigs sorted out and then decide what I'm going to do. So I'll catch you in a bit, people. Adios.
right people, I've had them bags out there for about well, a couple of hours now, two, three hours, something like that, about three hours, four hours, and nothing, so I can see fish out there where that weed bed is out there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck a bare lead out, not right on where they are, off of where they are. Find a nice little bit and stick the marker flute on. Just draw it up to get the depth. And then uh, I think what I'm going to do is cast three bags out there and then just put five or six spawns over the top when it gets dark. They're definitely out there. They are. I've seen signs of them. And somebody's been baiting up here without a shadow of a doubt. There must have been because that bird is just constantly down there. So when it goes dark, I'm going to drop a bag down there. I think. Look, you can see it. So I think I'm going to put one down there and then a couple out there. But I think that's what I'm going to do. I need to get a bit of bait out. In fact, there's signs of fish here now. So all in that area. So if I go out there in line with that tree, with a bare lead and see what I can find. I roughly know what's out there from fishing the peg next door, but I weren't going to fish that far out, but that's where the fish seem to be. There's another one over there and all signs are all moving there. So they're all around this middle area out there where the uh, where that weed bed is. I don't want to get dragged into that though, so I'm going to come away from it and see if I can draw them out away from it. And see how that goes, people. I think that's what I'm going to do anyway. It's about half seven now, so whatever I'm going to do, I need to get it sorted or it's going to be too late to do anything. So I'm going to scratch off for now. And I'll catch you in a bit, people. Adios, amigos.
morning people it's about ten past four in the morning so far nothing but as I'm looking out there now I've got fish right over my spot I'm feeling quite confident actually I'm just surprised that I haven't had one already I just feel really good about my spot out there but we just have to wait and see. I ain't had much sleep because as you can hear, songbirds there, they've been singing all night. So I've hardly had any sleep at all. So I'm just going to lay in my bed and watch the water for a few hours. I've got till about lunchtime. So we'll just wait and see what happens, people. Right, so I'll catch you in a bit. Come on, carp, God's give me a fish. Come on, please. Adios. Right, people. Just want to say, fact, just give me a second. First of all, I'd like to say happy birthday to Violet. Hope you have a lovely day, sweetheart. And also, shout out to Nathan Stanley. Staley, sorry. Staley. He had a £28.2 out and a £22 out. So he's done his PB. His PB before was £19.7. So he did his PB twice in one day. Well done, mate. So he had a £20 two out, and then later on that day, he had a £22 out. Well done, mate. Top angling. But Dean says, don't forget, he's still top rod. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go, people. A few shout outs. Um, but no, nothing. About about six now so I'm going to give it to about ten o'clock get to about nine o'clock and I'll start to have a steady pack down I've got to get back because uh, it's my girlfriend's uh, birthday on Friday because I've got a load of work to do a bit of catching up to do and I've got to go and pick some more bait and that up as well some bits and bobs so busy busy day today and tomorrow but I should be back on the lake next week for a few days, hopefully. Well, I want to anyway, so... Right. So there you go, just thought I'd do them shout-outs, people. Okay, adios, amigos. Well, people. It's about half eight. I'm going to give it another half an hour. I've got everything packed up by my rods in a landing net. So, you never know, half an hour more. Well, that's it for this time. So, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing. And I should be back on here soon, very soon. So, tight lines, happy angling, and adios, amigos. Thank <laughs> you.